of famous YouTubers ran for president and campaigned against each other. We're gonna see, we might live in this reality at some point in the future, which is kind of terrifying. Don't give me any ideas, okay? Don't be giving me any more of that sponsorship money because I might be coming in trying to swoop in 2032, I'm ready. Oh, there's nothing more scary than that idea. So I obviously don't know what these YouTubers' political beliefs are, but I just randomized it. Uh, it is gonna be pretty important though, cause I mean, we've seen this game before, you gotta go for those swing states and uh, obviously depending on if you're in the left or the right, you probably gonna have a certain region of the US locked down. So I apologize in advance. Um, this game doesn't have a lot of customization options, at least not enough. This is probably the most terrifying cursed PewDiePie of all time. And uh, I'm, <laughs> this is the best I could do. He's gonna have some advantages. You know, he's charismatic and he's got some money, but media does not like him at all. And uh, obviously no experience. Going up against Mr. Beast. And honestly, come on, I, I think I got this one. I think uh, this, this is definitely Mr. Beast here with his hat and stuff like that. Now he's got even more a step above in terms of starting money. He's a tycoon, man. This guy's gonna be able to buy his way to the presidency, which honestly he might be able to do in reality. Now that I think about it, he could he could totally win. So I had them start off in the most like politically polar opposite states. We had PewDiePie in Texas. His starting state is Texas, and then Mr. Beast started in California. Immediately we have Pewds going to North Carolina and Mr. Beast going to Illinois. I guess those are definitely important states. We'll see them travel a lot to this region and of course to Florida and a couple others. Now immediately week one we have. Mr. Beast having a little bit of an advantage and that is kind of a big deal. I'm sure he's gonna be spending a lot more money Which is you know, obviously a good factor right now He's winning the popular vote by 5 million and uh, I just realized PewDiePie looks like Obi-Wan He looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Bam, then they go to Michigan and Ohio next now We got PewDiePie going to Georgia just locking down Georgia. So obviously ooh, Mr. Beast getting a big one That's the biggest or one of the biggest swing states you can get, Florida. I feel like we should always check on what like Florida's focus on because it is so important. So protecting social security, funding NASA. Oh, that's interesting. So we'll see like what uh, ideological paths they chose, they choose to focus on in this campaign. That might make a difference. There's still 12% up for grabs, but uh, man, that's that's a large amount, like kind of leading left. And they're enthusiastic, so that's kind of a big deal too. We also got this state wealth map mode, which I think is gonna be pretty important to kind of keep an eye out on in the future. I'm wondering if th this changes, right? Maybe? Right now, PewDiePie set up some campaign headquarters in North Carolina, Michigan, and Florida. And then Mr. Beast is doing it in Illinois, Ohio, and uh, North Carolina also, and Florida. Of course, they already start with one in their state of origin. Mr. Beast also got 11 stamina versus fundraising at six. I know that they're both at fundraising six. Yeah, so Pewds has a little bit more stamina though. All he really has to do though, looking like this, is get the high grounds. Then Mr. Beast can't stop him. Mr. Beast will think he's underestimating his power, but no, no, don't jump. About to get sabered. So Mr. Beast is gonna focus on education in this campaign and uh, Pewds is focusing on liberty for all. All right. Florida's also back up for grabs and that's why I guess they're both just kind of going in. Watch, watch your back there. Watch it. Oh, that's, that's terrifying. Yeah, a moment in, in Insidious when like the red demon comes out. He's like, <laughs> oh, smart Mr. Beast is now supporting NASA. And we saw that was like a big issue for Florida. He is a tycoon. He has like enough money. I'm sure he can like put it just, he could just give him a couple, you know, some cash their way. So he's only got 2% of an advantage now. So uh, things have kind of switched back and forth. Also enthusiasm is basically the same. Oh, PewDiePie might've messed up at some point here. Yeah, yeah, he's got negative 14 in this category. Uh, of course, they're both supporting NASA. I see you, I see you. Like, after that, after you saw the other newspaper article, you're like, oh, I gotta do this too. PewDiePie in California starting to say he's gonna outsource jobs. Okay, let's see if that strategy works out for him. Oh no, Obi-Wan PewDiePie only has 90,000 income, just kind of coming in, whereas Mr. Beast got 115, which we knew he was gonna have a money advantage. That doesn't necessarily mean like everything. Ooh, but he is out there buying advertisements in Florida and California, so that's gonna help. Dudes, on the other hand, buying advertisements in Kentucky. Okay, getting some KFC ads going, good job. Oh, student loan reform coming out of Mr. Beast versus better private insurance. All right, so we get the classic debate there. Free college tuition and the free market. So again, there's some differences, okay? Halfway till the election, and it looks like there's still a pretty big advantage over on this side. Money spent, you know, PewDiePie's actually spent more money even though he's got less income coming in. Uh-oh, it's vice president time, and it looks like Mr. Beast chose Jacksepticeye as his running mate. We'll see if a Irish man has any luck in, I guess, campaigning in Texas. 
<laughs> Why does he always show up? Why does he keep showing up? Hey, PewDiePie picked Jeb. You gotta get someone to clap for him. Jeb's out here clapping for everyone. Again, Jeb is from Florida, so that's why it's always kind of a smart pick, especially because, you know, Florida's purple. It hasn't gone, like, either, like, one side just yet. Jacksepticeye, I have him from New York, so that doesn't really help Mr. Beast out that much because New York was already going to him anyways, unless he, like, really messes up. I feel like Mr. Beast should basically do that UBI, universal income, just give everyone money. He gonna win. He gonna win if he uses that strategy. Maybe that's why he's doing so well, actually. We got some states that are kind of purple. Oh, well, we'll see. I don't know why Maine is purple. That's surprising. Universal Healthcare, bam. So there it is. And then Energy Independence by Obi PewDiePie. That's not looking good either. Why is Washington purple? That's only a percentage. Come on, you gotta... Well, we'll see. He might get over there and do something. But he is uh, doing something about the environment. That is the state's top issue. Oh, they really like better private insurance. Look, look at that. That's huge. Big old advantage just from that alone. Uh-oh. Fracking. Okay, let's see what the states feel about that. That could be a problem. Ohio is currently deeply red. So that is is probably a well that's an interesting sign you don't need ohio but i mean this region's important that's oh, back to being purple i don't never mind jeb putting in work look at jeb that's right you give him those guac bowls pewds out here in kansas supporting turning to civility which maybe that'll be good i don't know why kansas specifically would do that this is actually looking like it's gonna go towards pewdiepie he's got a week left to campaign but there's a lot of purple and some of these places shouldn't be purple but it's anyone's campaign here we go here's election night and uh, already main going red that is probably not a good sign and connecticut that also oh i was about to say if they lost new york too that's a that's not good all right automatically pewdiepie is looking really really great like really well off let's see if he wins florida uh oh oh jeb's already there jeb's already there <sighs> Dang, they did not win Florida. This is a weird map. I actually don't even know where to begin. And they won Alabama. The blue blue side won Alabama. That There's something really, really wrong here. See, Maine, I don't know how many election points Maine, uh, electoral points Maine is. So that's kind of the thing. Let's see where Minnesota goes. Minnesota going... Oh, it went red. So that's a big... I think when it slows down, that's kind of a surprise. Oh, this is definitely... PewDiePie's winning this. He is winning this. Because, uh, well, yeah, that's right. He's... There's gonna get two, nah, that's not enough. Mr. Beast obviously is gonna get California, but that doesn't really matter. Did they lose Washington? Bam, he lost, he lost Washington. So um, I guess the money was not enough. The money clearly wasn't enough. That was a little close though. It wasn't like super close. Again though, it was Magical Jeb that really put the team on his back. Weird, cause like, look at this renewable energy. Even though it was like the third top issue and that clearly went towards Mr. Beast, only 0.6 towards PewDiePie. I guess it didn't really matter. I mean, he, he had the American people with better private insurance and healthcare. He liked his side more. Oh, Mr. Beast was advocating for a Keystone XL pipeline, I think. Or was he not? He might, well, either way, he was choosing PewDiePie. People chose PewDiePie stance. I don't know what he was standing for. So we already saw him as a vice president. Didn't do that good. But now Jacksepticeye is going to be running on the left uh, as the main, main dude. Let's see how he does. And he's going to be going up against his own friend, Markiplier. So Markiplier is going to be uh, doing some uh, interesting things. I don't know why I put Markiplier, like, from Alaska, but all right. Immediately, the polls are, again, favoring the left, but you never know, because that's what it said last time, and we it was really wrong about that. I like how they look basically the same, except one has green hair and the other one has red it's accurate so jacksepticeye is a progressive so we'll see like what strategy he's gonna use with that uh he's already set up his first couple of uh home offices what this thing's called yeah campaign headquarters there you go markiplier already going with an advertisement in michigan i guess really trying to go yeah because he already has an office in Michigan too. Already a pretty big income difference. Jack Sepka is getting 75,000 a week, I guess. Where oh oh never mind, it came up. It was at 40,000 before for Markiplier. We got two things right here protecting our borders, and uh, well there you go. Jack's out here in Nevada supporting uh, reducing wealth inequality, and he's got a pretty strong hold over the Pacific states. Michigan's purple, which uh, I guess I mean that's just kind of gonna happen. A lot of these states are gonna be purple. Florida right now leaning left, so let's see why that is. Oh by 10 percent, oh, that's a huge thing. Once again, kind of the same issues, but I think that changes every week that goes by. Sometimes, like, different issues come their, their top thing. Oh, he's in Texas. He's trying to do something in Texas. I don't think it's going to work. Better private insurance. So they like that for Markiplier in Texas. Bam, more ideological purchases and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, pretty strong support for that wall, it looks like. 55% of the country. America first versus, uh, okay, so this is very, 
kind of going up oh, bring it th this is pretty much classic stuff running made time so we have hillary hillary out here running for jack uh they're both well this is markiplier but uh hillary's in florida advocating doing some speeches markiplier's running mate is uh george w bush all right cool so uh he's from texas not that he needs any help from texas but Okay, Bush, Bush gonna do some stuff. I'm not gonna talk about what he's gonna do, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we'll see if Bush is just as good as his brother Jeb. Bush is, uh, I, well, we'll see. Right now we got a pretty close race just from the top here. Only a percent is leading left, and I'm sure that's like, there's gotta be margin and er margin for error, error in this game? Is that what the word is? I don't even know what words are. New Hampshire leaning red. Yeah, you better jump on that, Jack. Oh no, Jack still didn't get it back. Colorado's red at the moment, and that's a pretty deep red, so I don't know what happened there. Kind of funny, I realized that in both campaigns we had first a Swedish guy running for American president and now we have an Irish guy let's see if that works out it worked out for PewDiePie Markiplier is advocating for lowering taxes in Virginia he's doing the same thing in Illinois whereas uh, Michigan choosing to go for that better private insurance route oh it's switched now the percentage oh this is getting close up here nine percent undecided that's still a lot allies paying fair share all right got to get those allies the old UK and, and France right we're talking about the the old allies, the faction from back in the day. They're both out here boosting like enthusiasm, which is probably pretty, oh, that's big. Cost 30,000. Whoa, all right, so right now Jack's got $155,000 in income and Markiplier only bringing in 130. His expenses are 120. Oh yeah, so they're spending almost all of it. Jack is clearly behind in the polls, which is which is why he's spending more, obviously. He's only down by 2% though. That's a lot of 8%, you never know. What's Hillary doing? Hillary, you having fun? You doing your thing? Are you just chilling in Maryland? We've seen this before. Sometimes people just chill in Maryland, because why not? This is getting kind of scary. That's a lot of purple on the board. So yeah, they both have smear merchants out here in Florida. Florida did just go blue though. Here we go, election night 2020, Jacksepticeye versus Markiplier. So immediately Maine goes red again. What is going on with that? And then blue from Massachusetts, red from New Hampshire. Okay, uh, bam. So Pennsylvania goes red. That's a big sign. Virginia goes blue though. So this is, this is pretty close still. Here we go. Here's the big one. Here's the, oh, it went blue. So Jack has clearly got a big advantage unless this all goes red up here in the Midwest or the Rust Belt. I still get confused by the statement Midwest. Boom, red. Oh, it's getting close. That's all red up there. Let's see. Okay, Illinois went blue and Wisconsin. Okay, this is really, really close. I don't know. Iowa goes blue. Is this gonna go blue too? That goes red. Markiplier it looks like he might pull out this, maybe. He's obviously gonna win the regular red states. He's gonna win Texas. Oh, he's close. Oh, and he won Colorado. Is that it? Is that all he needed? Yeah, maybe if he didn't win Colorado, this would have been closer. There's the 270. That was close. That was much closer than the last one. And he's from Alaska, so that's the thing. But hey, that was that would have gone differently. That was about to go very differently. Oh man, once again, the bushes. George, George W. and Jeb, they both, they both bringing in those victories. Jack was making a lot of money too at one point, so that's kind of surprising. If you have any more suggestions for who else I should put in this game, let me know. I mean, I could always come back and do like regular ones, like from people that are actually running. I've been thinking about that, but I wanted to do this one because I thought it'd be more fun. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to the Patreon supporters. Drew's Uncle Hiltar. Elfie C. Elijah Senpai. Swiss Argo. Luxenberg Lover. Maxi G. Pito. Alfonso M6. Militine. Pan Kualaska. Pelofsky. Sleeper 56. Vinny Chang. Tyler Beach. Ballin' Like Stall. Seth A. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Riley A. Public Education. Thanks again.